Okay, so this is a video tutorial on how to use the pick and place machine uh, for placing surface mount components on a printed circuit board. Uh, so to get started, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to verify that our design is set up correctly in Easy EDA uh, and get our pick and place file. Uh, you'll notice I've got a, uh, a pop art PCB here uh, that is set up to receive lots of uh, NeoPixels. Uh, and one of the most important parts about this design is making sure that it is uh, placed in the right part of the screen. Uh, you'll notice that there are these kind of strong bold lines um, kind of going vertically here and horizontally here. Uh, and these are like the uh, like a Cartesian coordinate plane. Uh, and what you want to make sure is, is that your uh, design is in the upper right hand quadrant um, so that all of, the all of the components have positive X and Y values. Uh, you can kind of double check this over here on this panel. You can see the mouse X and mouse Y, um, or you can even kind of click on parts and it'll show you uh, what the uh, coordinates of those, those uh, components are. Um, this is important because with our pick and place machine, negative values will kind of confuse it a little bit. And so if you need to move your board up into this area, uh, then you may need to do that just to make sure that we don't have any file incompatibilities. Uh, at this point though, uh, we've got a, a nice setup here. Uh, we're going to come up over to Fabrication, and we're going to choose Pick and Place File. Uh, and we don't need to select any of these options, so we can just go ahead and export as is. And it's going to uh, download a file here for us that we'll be able to use. Okay, uh, And so what we can do is we can go find that component, uh, or find that file rather, uh, and I'm just going to drag it to the desktop. You may need to send yourself this file to the Pick and Place computer. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and rename it, and I'm going to call this PNP sample, um, but you can call yours whatever you need to. Um, now, at this point, we do need to do a conversion uh, on this uh, file. So as it comes out of Easy EDA, isn't it, exa it isn't exactly the way that our pick-and-place machine wants it, uh, but I've written a processing program that's on the pick-and-place computer uh, that you can run, and so I'm going to just open this. And it's going to ask you to select your pick and place file. And so we'll go down and find the file that we want to convert, so PNP sample. And if we click open, uh, what it will do is it's going to create a new file called PNP sample converted. Uh, and this is the one that we want. Now we need to move this to a folder to where the pick and place machine is going to be able to access it. Uh, and there's a shortcut right icon right here. And so we can drag this converted file into the PNP files uh, shortcut icon and that's going to move it to where our uh, machine is going to be able to access it. At this point then we are ready to turn on the uh, pick and place machine. Uh, there's a big orange switch on the bottom right hand side um, of the machine. It's not the emergency switch, it's the one that's on the side of the machine. Uh, but if we go ahead and flip that on we will give the machine a few seconds to start up and you should hear it beep once and uh, come alive. Uh, at that point then, we can open up the pick and place software. Um, it's this SMT main icon here, uh, and so we will open that up, and it will initialize. Um, at this point, it's going to ask you to confirm uh, zeroing the machine, and we do want to do that, so it's going to take a second to uh, reset itself to its zero position. <laughs> Now at this point it is zeroed out and we're ready to load in our file. So we're going to come over here to files and we're going to convert our file uh, and we're going to go to the file that we just imported. So here you can see PNP sample converted. That's the one that we want to do. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and open that. And here you're going to see just a very long list of every single component uh, that is part of our board. So lots of NeoPixels obviously uh, as well as some of the other components that we placed on that board. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, uh, we're just placing NeoPixels. Um, we're going to place these other components by hand. Uh, and so what we want to do is we're going to remove these from the list. And so this 10K, for example, I'm going to delete um, this USB. And I'm going to go through and just delete all the components that are not uh, NeoPixels, because today we're just going to be doing uh, NeoPixel placement. OK, so I've deleted those. I can just check the rest of this file. Looks like all of these are just NeoPixels. Um, so that's in uh, pretty good shape. Now at this point then, we're going to convert. Okay, 
And it's going to ask us, OK, we've got some NeoPixels here, but what feeder um, is it coming from? And so if we click Edit, uh, the station that it's coming from is actually reel number 23. There's lots of different slots on the pick and place for various reels of components. Our NeoPixels are on reel um, station number 23. So we're going to save that. Okay. Uh, for feed, uh, this talks about essentially how wide the component is. Different components have different widths and need to come off the reel at different lengths. Um, and in this case, NeoPixels are 8 millimeters apart. And so we're going to put in 8 there. And finally, we're going to adjust the speed. Um, so it wants a value between 1 and 100%. Um, and in this case, we're going to make it go 50%, so half speed. Um, and that will increase the um, accuracy of the placements. Uh, and it still runs pretty fast. So 50% should be just fine for this value here. Um, so it's going to say it's going to change all of those. And that's perfectly OK. We'll click OK. Uh, and at this point, then we can return back. Uh, and there's one final thing that we need to do. Um, the NeoPixels uh, need to get rotated 180 degrees. That's just how they come on the roll. And so we'll click this Rotate button, and it'll say Rotate 100 degrees, 180 degrees, and we can say OK. Now at this point, then, we can save our file. Okay. Um, and this PNP sample converted, and I'm just going to add, I'm going to change converted to final. Um, and we'll click OK there. Uh, and we're saved up. Um, at this point, then, we can go ahead and back out to our main menu. Okay, and we are ready to go over to the Run menu. Uh, now, at this point, we're going to go find our file, so this PNP sample final. This is the one that we're working on. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and edit this. You can see, again, we've got all of our components listed here. But now we're ready to do what's called the PCB Calibrate. And that is letting the pick and place machine know where our, uh, our PCB is located on the machine. Now, for pop art PCBs, since they're not rectangular um, in shape naturally, uh, you should have your, uh, your pop art PCB in its acrylic uh, frame holder and put in the bottom left hand corner uh, of the pick and place machine um, and kind of slot it in with the clamp. So, if we go over here to PCB Calibrate, uh, we can now let it know where we want to calibrate it to. And it's going to pick two components, essentially the upper leftmost component and the bottom rightmost component. And so if we click Calibrate, you can see that it's going to want us to calibrate, at least in, in mind, to NeoPixel 0 and NeoPixel 60. So to get it calibrated to NeoPixel 0, I can hit this plus button. And it's going to move. Um, and you can see right now, this is the camera that's on the pick and place machine. And it has no idea where it's at at the moment. Uh, and so we're going to guide it to that location. Now, to move it around, you have two options. You can have low speed or high speed. Uh, since I'm nowhere near the uh, PCB at the moment, I'm going to change it over to high speed. And that's going to move the head around a little bit quicker. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this, and I'm going to look for that NeoPixel 0. OK, and I want to get this, this target right on the center. Now, at this point, I want to switch over to low speed mode because I want it to go a little bit slower. And I'm going to click Enlarge, which is going to zoom this in just a little bit better for me so I can make sure that I have a very accurate placement. All right, that's looking pretty good. So once that's set dead center to the NeoPixel, uh, we can hit Set. And now we can go to uh, NeoPixel number 60. So again, we'll hit this. And we'll repeat that same process where we'll go into high speed mode. And we'll go on the hunt for NeoPixel number 60. OK, there it is. So I get kind of as close as I can with high speed mode, then change over to low speed, enlarge. And we'll dial it in really finely. That looks pretty good. So we'll hit set. Now at this point, we are calibrated with our PCB. So at this point, we can step back one level. Uh, and this file is ready to go. So we can hit load. Okay, And it looks like we're in pretty good shape here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this little light bulb. And that's going to turn the work light on uh, on the machine so you can kind of see a little bit better about what's going on. Uh, and then we're going to return the head to its home position. Now, at this point, we are ready to run. Um, what we're going to start off with first is we've got two options here. We can do step, which means that it's going to kind of step through its operation manually one by one. 
um, each time we click this button. Uh, or we can click Run, which is just going to run all of them um, you know, on its own. Uh, what we're going to do just to start off with, we're going to start with Step, um, and we're going to let it place the first two NeoPixels um, with us just clicking through step by step. And that's just going to make sure that we have a good setup and there's no mistakes with how we've done things. Um, once that looks good, then we can hit Run and let it place the remaining NeoPixels. So we're going to hit Step a couple times here. You're going to hear the vacuum uh, fire up, and the vacuum is what's kind of sucking on the component to place it in the appropriate spot. Um, so we're going to give this a shot and we're going to kind of talk step by step on what's going through. So here we go. Okay, so at this point it's moved over to the component reel and advanced the component one step. Now it's moved itself into a location where the, the place head is right over the component. Now it's grabbed that particular component Okay, now it's bringing it over to the inspection station where it can look at it through the webcam. Okay, now it should be over the place on the board where it wants to place it. And then it should have just placed the component. Now at this point, if everything is looking good and you're satisfied with how it's been, then you can go ahead and click run and let it do the remaining components. For the purpose of this tutorial, I just went ahead and hit stop because um, I don't need to place all the components for this tutorial. Um, but if for some reason um, those first two components just don't look like they're lining up correctly, um, then you may go back and recalibrate or just check your file to make sure that everything converted correctly. Um, like I said, if those first two components look like they're lining up nicely uh, and they're sticking to the board, uh, just as a reminder, you'll need to make sure that you have uh, your uh, surface mount solder paste on the board. That's what's actually going to hold the components in place. And then uh, we'll get those soldered in the reflow oven later. Um, but everything looks, if everything looks good at that point, then you can click Run and watch it place all of your components. Um, you should always kind of stick near the Stop button if for some reason something seems to get out of control or it's not picking components off of the reels anymore. Then you'll want to go ahead and stop and, and figure out what's going wrong or ask for help. Um, but if everything, go, if everything goes well, um, then what you can do is kind of carefully take your uh, board out of the machine, um, remove it from the, uh, the acrylic template, and put it in the reflow oven in order to get everything uh, soldered up and uh, ready to go. And that's it.